Another example of Bernoulli's principle that we stumbled on uh, somewhat by accident is in the form of this uh, faucet here. Now we notice that the, uh, as the water comes out of the faucet when I turn it on, it narrows down through a constriction here, so the velocity of the water is going to increase, and we're going to have high velocity of water coming out through the nozzle. That will correspond to low pressure. High velocity corresponds to low pressure. I'll illustrate that by putting this hose on here and blowing the water through the hose into the hose and out of the hose and we're going to watch what happens right in this region of highest velocity. Right there. Now, can you see there's air in there? And there was no air in the line to start with, and there are no bubbles going up the tube. So that air has to be water vapor that comes from the water actually evaporating because of the low pressure created from the high velocity. Also, if you look closely, you can see that that tube is a little bit constricted in there, illustrating high velocity, low pressure inside the tube, and the atmospheric pressure squeezes on the tube and narrows it down. Let me see if I can increase the velocity even further. It looks like that's about it. It kind of shuts itself off in a way. So again, where we have a high velocity, we have a low pressure. Low enough pressure to actually evaporate the water due to a pressure reduction. Bernoulli's principle.